Hey guys, it's Ananas here and we're back again with another unit of the week. Today we'll be reviewing the free company militia unit for the Empire as well as the Sterland's Revenge unit which is the regiment of renown for the free, com uh, free company militia. Um, take a look at some of the stats over here. Um, these guys are short range uh, ranged infantry and they have a pistol on their hand, one hand and a sword on the other kind of like pirates um, and um, their cost really uh, their cost is really low at 450 for the normal ones and 825 for the Sterling's Revenge let's talk about that a little bit later so some basic stats they have uh, no armor at all pretty decent leadership and speed <coughs> and uh, they have uh, quite a uh, quite a good melee uh, missile damage I mean at a reload time of 8.3 seconds which is pretty fast and uh, quite a lot of um, range as well at 90 as well as ammunition but what what makes them different from other uh, more conventional uh, missile we units is that fast. look at their uh, melee stats they have a 28 melee attack and 25 melee defense which is um, pr actually really good for how much they cost so they can hold themselves uh, uh, in the f in some of the fights if they're engaged in melee they can at least hold up for themselves uh, before reinforcement arrives so I'm just going to test out again some uh, great swords over here there uh, I'm not going to send them in straight away I'm going to kite them a little bit and uh, have some spear units hold up the great swords just to show you guys how uh, you can use them in battle don't forget they have a vanguard deploy as well and for the Sterling's Revenge um, for far 400 more uh, roughly 400 more gold you get a uh, Armor piercing missile, missiles as well as stock as well as immune to psychology so they are a pretty good unit um, if you want to feel them it depends on you whether you want to feel two uh, normal free company militia or one uh, elite um, unit with armor piercing typically I, only, I will bring the normal ones and I just forego the um, the ones with the armor piercing missiles because for that price you can get almost two uh, units of free company militia so I'm just going to start the battle over here and, um, yeah, I'm gonna let the Empire uh, player walk in. I'm I'm gonna pull back my um, regiment of renowned unit. Just more on. Uh, I just want to showcase more on the normal uh, free company militia to you guys um, in this video. I'll have some replays up where I use them in some of my battles, and you guys can try them out themselves. I feel that uh, not a lot of people bring them because. Uh, of how niche uh, infantry they are, but I, I think they have very good uh, good potential in uh, some some of the uh, other maps. So initial damage, um, not a lot, but uh, just gonna keep firing them and before retreating them back into my melee lines. Can get one of one more volley? No, I can't. The thing is uh, they, they reload pretty fast and for the Regiment of Renown Sterling's Revenge they reload in about 6.5 seconds which is pretty damn fast. So the spears are just gonna be there to hold them. Uh, take note that even with one unit of free company munition and one unit of spearmen it's still about 200 gold uh, cheaper uh, or they're getting cut. 200 gold cheaper than, than the uh, Great Swords. And you get more uh, utility, you can have an uh, anti uh, large as well as a uh, missile with a decent melee stat. So I'm just gonna put them back over here. So this uh, typically how you wanna handle them in uh, in your matches. Your spears to hold them up while your guys continue shooting them. I'm just gonna send my general up there to uh, support. I'm just gonna fire a few more bodies and then send them in. Uh, for melee. I'll show you guys some close up with some slow motion of them firing. They, they are really really unique unit and uh, <coughs> I kind of want to see them more in multiplayer battles. Um, they're, they're very very versatile as well with the stock ability you can use them to ambush your enemies and they have a pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good uh, melee stats as well. So you can see them firing Oh, the general is coming. Coming to play. You can see uh, this battalion. So okay, I just brought him in to, uh, <laughs> so that he, his units doesn't get affected, or my units doesn't get affected as much. So you can see the great swords are down to almost uh, half health. Free company. Yeah, 
And I'm gonna send them in for a melee rush, a melee charge. They can take on Batelsa Gelt pretty easily. He's a, a pansy. I'm gonna show you guys some close up of their uh, melee animation. You can see them. Really, really cool unit with their kicks. <laughs> Very pirate like. This is Sparta! You can see they are doing pretty well. Especially with the spears pinning the great swords in. Just wanna get a hopefully get a shot of a kill over here. A kill animation. The great swords have quite a bit of health. As you can see. Oh, one of them just lost it. Over there. Still trying to get a kill animation, if at all possible. Taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, that guy just lost it as well. <laughs> great swords are still great swords, but with the versatility of these guys, I think they really do pay for themselves. Oh, one of the great swords dropped. Sometimes it really takes uh, slow motion to appreciate the animation, the amount of animation that goes into this game. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. It's a pretty even fight still. Great swords being great swords, but uh, I can see that my guys are doing quite a bit of damage. You can see they have 18 kills, still quite a healthy number of uh, personnel. Just want to get a uh, try and get a kill shot. One of these guys over here. Guy getting kicked. <laughs> I think at the back, Bethelsa Gelt is still fighting over there as well. The kick is. <laughs> the kick is pretty. Oh, this guy just fell. This guy just died. No de decapitation whatsoever. Sadly. It's a 1v1 over here. Oh, this guy just lost it as well. Kind of expected more brutality, but oh well. Nevertheless, you can see these two units because of the initial shots uh, that they receive. The great swords are losing. Great swords over here won because uh, just against spears. It's gonna fire over there. You can see they hold up really well. I mean, they hold up quite a decent uh, duration compared to if they are just bows or crossbows or. Gunners, so I really think that there's a potential for them. I'm gonna get a charge in over here. You can see these guys doing a lot of damage because of the armor piercing. I'm gonna show you guys some uh, close up of the charge. Really love the charge animation of some of the units. Big clash over here. You can see they're winning pretty well because of the. Uh, because of the uh, health advantage that they have, I mean, over over time they're gonna start losing out. But you can see that they're pretty decent uh, melee combatants. You can see as time goes by, they're gonna start losing. But because of the damage that has already been done by the shots that they fire, they they roll it in this case. But yeah, let me guys uh, let me know what you guys think about this unit. Uh, I'll show you guys some uh, replay battles in the coming videos to come in the upcoming videos and uh, yeah let me know what you think about this unit I, I really feel that they have a big potential in the multiplayer aspect of the game and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this battle I mean uh, this video and I'll see you guys next time take care guys